Armed police have just raided the Mexican embassy in Ecuador. They went in to find their former vice president, Jorge Glass, and got what they came for. The head of the consulate attempts to run after them, but is held back and pinned to the ground. Glass, inside one of these cars, has long been seen as one of Ecuador's most wanted on charges of corruption and bribery. He'd been granted asylum by the Mexicans only hours before this. Convicted twice already, he'd sought refuge, claiming he was a victim of political persecution. But that was promptly ignored, and orders were given for Ecuadorian police to storm the complex. After trying to stop them from leaving, the head of the Mexican embassy is shaken by events and incensed at what he's witnessed. How is it the criminals raided the Mexican embassy at Ecuador? This is not possible. It can't be. It's madness. I think, yes, they took away former Vice President Jorge Glass. I'm very worried because he can be killed. There is no basis to do it. It's outside every norm. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador described the action as a flagrant violation of international law. Ecuador's presidency sharply hit back, claiming they will not allow a criminal to stay free. A rift between the two countries had been growing since Glass began residing at the embassy in December. This breach has only deepened it. Ashna Harinag, Sky News.